hello guys in this video i am going to create a beautiful video website like this one that you see on your screen and this is the btu website video creation that will be more simpler than any video i have ever uploaded this pretty and beautiful video website that you see a user can register with his email address phone number a user can log in automatically for instance now a user can put his phone number and the password to log in into his account to purchase data airtime cable subscription and other several services this is the advance you can see this notification you can modify this notification this is the balance and when a user scroll down he can see several services that are available on the website including the vv ncac registration and then when he click on add money he can see the automatic generated account number when you click on manual he can see the account number that is available for manual funding so now uh let us go back to more services this page will show you several services that are not on the main home page for instance here you can see there are certain services if you don't know how to purchase the domain this is uh Apis host where we are you where where you can purchase the domain uh this is c panel when you scroll down and click on c panel this is the page that you are going to coordinate the website that you have hosted if you don't know how to purchase the domain name and the hosting you can watch my previous videos it is pretty simple just register and purchase it using your card so this is the c panel page when you scroll down select pile manager I will follow step by step and the way you can understand after you have clicked on pile manager click on public new or public HTML. so after you have done that this is the where you are going to click to upload the zip file because i have the zip file available but i'm going to show you when you click on upload click on this uh, then select the file that you are going to upload this folder i'm going to uh, give you access to this folder at the end of this video this is the script that you are going to upload version 6.1 or version 6.8 whatsoever but this is the uh, one that i want to use because i have it available let me cancel it and go back to the main file manager because i have it available when it finish uploading it will show you this green so this is the zip file that i have uploaded right you can see it now i have uploaded the main zip file this is the script so you are going to scroll down again uh this is the website link when you click on the website link this is the domain name now that i don't have anything on this uh on this domain name it is it is just showing me the script that i have uploaded right so uh let me remove these uh pages to make it more easier for you guys to understand the video so uh you should scroll down and look for the database wizard this is the database wizard database wizard is where you are going to create what is where you are going to create the database now let me add the username i have added the new so you can see now i have created the database let me create the username for this database when you copy let me uh let me use the same username as uh as well as the database so let me add new for the first word let me use the database that i have copied the database name that i have copied so it will be more easier to remember at always then create the user so this is how to create the database so don't forget to add all the privileges this is the database user and the database name so you should copy this and uh and save it in in, in a note for uh for future use because we are going to use this make sure you have saved it for password let me copy this it is the password that i have used right you didn't forget so you should save this for your future use so let me minimize this don't forget to add all these privileges because these privileges uh, you should click on all privileges and they will be tick so click on make changes they will be added to the database and the user so when user have privileges you are able to make several uh, changes and uh, it will be automatically executing certain tasks so you should uh you should click on email account and create an email account for this uh your account for instance when you click on this create it will be uh you 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 will be redirected to this page then uh add username for the email for instance now i have added support don't forget that i have copied the password for 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 
uh the, my password is what my password is uh is the database name so let me copy this email that i have created and don't forget that i have used the same password as that of what as that of uh, the database this is the password let me copy it again and paste it just below the email address not to forget so now let me click on this cfunnel lo uh, logo so you can see it is still showing that so let me click on it right click on this uh, if you are using pawn you should also do that because you can use this on pawn so you should click on extract this file this folder will be extracted because it was already deceived let me refresh you can see that i have i have now uh i have now uh installed this script now you can see it is pretty simple to do that so when i click on login it will not redirect me when i click on register it will not so now i need to do what i need to connect the database this is where the importance of database come when you click on core click on model click on model.php then right click on it so we are going to uh, we are going to use this information here so you should copy the password you should copy the database name and the username because it is the same let me just copy it once replace this place uh, with the database name replace the database name with uh, with it again then replace the database password make sure you have replaced it correctly because if you use uh if you didn't replace it correctly it will not work make sure that you have uh, also replaced the email address and the email password uh, let me copy the email address first this is the email address let me copy it minimize let me go back to the email uh, let me remove this one and paste it so this is how you are going to do it click on this save change save change you can see i'm indicating it with this arrow make sure you are following this arrow click on save change then click on uh, close but uh one thing i want you to remember is that i have connected the database now but i didn't uh i didn't add the database click on this off one level then go back to the helpers click on vendors click on site.php then right click and uh, click on edit so after editing this is where you are going to change the whole website name so you should remove this site name and add your exactly website name so now i am typing the website name then click on save change so this is the redirectory to change the website name so uh click on upward level then after you have done with that uh what i'm expecting we are going to upload you can remove this uh this zip file uh delete it you can delete it it will be moved uh to the trash so even now uh even now when you click or register it will not work do you know why because i didn't upload the z uh the file uh the database so let's go directly to the database click on php my admin click on php my admin this is php my admin when you click on it you will uh, you will see the database that i heard that you have created before this is the database with the username new you can see it now so click on it click on it click on import then uh click on choose file then you should choose this file this is the pro this is the database it was dot sql so click on import uh i have told you that i am going to give you access to this uh, to this uh, script at the end of this video now that i have imported the table here is the table for this database you can see we have several tables we have at least 33 tables because it is the updated script now when i click on register it will automatically open the registration page because of what because i have uploaded it so now let me register as a user on this website let me register as a user you can see now I have entered my full name phone number email address then let me use make sure you are using the strong password because on this script we are using the strong password suggestion so when you use one two three four it will not work add at or uh, any uh, format add the transaction pin and click or register now you can see the registration is successfully i have currently uploaded the file i have installed it right now and i am able to register so this is pretty simple on how to install it and i don't want this video to be long you can see now that i have registered it automatically logged me into the dashboard you can change this logo and notification in your admin dashboard uh because in this video i didn't make it that longer that you see uh several things i have make it shorter for the installation so click on buy data 
or click on any uh on any service uh, logo that you can see here i have the uh, i have the logo i can select the network this is more services that i can set all these services in the admin dashboard but now what i have focused is on how to install the script i have focused on this in this video you can see the others video on how to do uh several tags after that so now how to customize these pages to look exactly like yours so now uh is what have left for us so click on this index.html from the uh, public html click on edit so if you come to, uh click on this uh search icon you can see here is niger feed data right so click on this uh search icon from the uh from the top uh from the top menu you can see the search icon from the top menu here then click on it then from here you can uh, click on this plus icon this is the plus icon that i am showing you click on that plus icon type the name that you see in the script for instance niger Fe, then click on uh, write the name click on all and click or replace meaning that you should you should replace anywhere that niger Fe appeared in the script then you are going to replace it with the exact website name of yours now you can see it was welcome to embar data instead of welcome to niger Fe data right so you can see now i have replaced all these things so you can customize certain things uh in this script you can customize even the write-up and everything so you can see you can click on this uh contact and also edit it you can see click on this uh, search icon write niger Fe data write the name of your website for instance now i am writing ever data click on this all there replace it now i have replaced it all then click on save change i don't want to make this video uh look uh look so confusable for you that's why i'm redirecting you exactly to the main thing that you are going to do then click on this uh on this uh partnership then uh, also change uh, change the Niger Fe anywhere Niger Fe affair change it to your website name for instance embar data then click on all and click on replace so you can see also you are going to click on save change it is pretty easy to customize this one uh, you can see now uh, even this header was changed to embar data so now what have remained uh the only thing that i remain is you can see now this user have paid me twenty thousand uh twenty thousand the half payment for his website then later if i have finished he's going to pay me the remaining payment this is the logo uh that i have created for him right so after i have created this logo for him i have shared it and he has said that this logo is perfect to be used uh because i am creating this video website for only 39,000 naira. he have fed me the half payment of 20,000 naira. uh then after i have done I, he is going to uh balance me off for his uh for the remaining money now that i have this uh logo i am going to name it uh this uh these names that you can see then uh add it in the image then uh compress this file into a zip file because you can't upload file as that uh, as a folder you have to compress it to a zip file then go directly to the asset folder for instance asset folder click on img then upload it here you can see these are the uh, i can delete this one because i don't want to uh, confuse myself later click on upload after you have clicked on upload select the file now i'm going to select the uh, the file from the desktop this is my desktop let me select the img file that i have recently created right so let me select it scroll down scroll down img this is the zip file that i have created for the logo right so now that i have uploaded the logo let me refresh it let me extract this logo let me extract this logo after you have extracted the logo then go directly to the folder click or reload if you didn't see the folder click on reload the folder will appear then uh, right click on it then uh, then after you have done that select all the files then move them or copy them into this exact directory remove the img that you have uploaded is asset slash img so after you have placed it in this directory uh, just come back to the website at refresh if it didn't appear meaning you need to clear your browser charge now that i uh, that, now that i don't want to use this 
I'm either going to use new incognitive mode or use another browser. I prefer using another browser because when I use incognitive mode, it will not show you. So now the logo is appeared. You can see the logo is appeared. Chat me up uh, on this uh, below this video. You can see the link on how to download this script. You can see the link on how to chat me for uh for registration this uh script is only 9900 naira and you can find these services these are the pictures available on this script you can read uh and you can chat me off if you want me to create this video website for you and uh about the admin dashboard you can check my previous videos i have the videos that i have explained how to uh connect your admin dashboard thank you